What did you learn about SX at a young age that turned out to be completely wrong? My mom told me penises get bigger so I told all the other third graders that penises stretched like putty to become longer. That you got pregnant every time you had SX. I remember asking my mom while in Kmart if she only had SX 4 times because she's been pregnant 4 times. She sarcastically responded yep. You choose the gender of the baby by who is on top, man on top for a boy, woman on top for a girl. IDK if I learned it. I was a sheltered kid. SX education at early teens didn't bother to consider that we might not know what SX is. So at the end of SX said it still hadn't occurred to me that you could insert a penis into a vagina. Blow jobs and giving head were two different things. You sucked when giving head. Blue for a BJ. Obviously. That guy's penises just kept growing longer the older they got. And they just rolled them up in their pants like a cinnamon roll. My friend told me the only way to get rid of a boner was to rub it against furniture. I was 10 at the time. Then one day the couch shattered. I was under the impression that the penis went into the vagina and vibrated. No pumping required. If only. You think if my penis vibrated I'd be sitting here on reddit on a Saturday night? Eon from a paperback novel. He rammed it into her virgin hole and pounded it raw as she squealed with pleasure. Which chapter of Harry Potter was this again? I must have missed it. I was like 9 years old and my dad, presumably, had left a PRN in the VCR. I went to go play something and it instantly came on. It was some weird scene in a kitchen. Food all over the place. About 10 seconds in. This dude jizzes a pool of cum onto the girl's face and I thought it looked like egg whites. I hated eggs. I gagged hard. Turned it off immediately. And ran shuddering. I had heard about women having eggs. But saw the egg white come out of the dude. So my brain put it together that the guy had egg whites and the girl had the yolks. I was terrified that I was going to shoot egg whites out of my dick one day. I genuinely thought that for a couple years. I couldn't even look at eggs. I thought about it every time I saw eggs and my mom and dad always had egg sandwiches together on Sunday mornings. Egg sandwiches. Watching late night Cinemax when I was a kid. Women would only moan when their nipples were exposed. I assumed. As a pre-adolescent boy. That whenever a woman became topless. She would moan. Late night Cinemax softcore PRN in the OSI 90s didn't show what what going on downstairs. Only nipples and moaning. I thought that women had to or get M to get pregnant. In hindsight. I was happy in not knowing the truth. Like when I thought ponies were baby horses. Ignorance is bliss sometimes. Many moons ago. It was believed that a woman truly did have to have an orgasm to get pregnant. This logic was used to disprove women's RP allegations when they resulted in pregnancies. I. E. If you got pregnant. You must have had an orgasm. Which means you must have enjoyed it and therefore. Were not rp Even sadder. Unfortunate fact is that many people do have orgas ms while being forcibly penetrated. Sometimes the body just responds in that way. Adding an entirely new layer of shame and guilt to the emotions that often come with such a horrifying experience as our pay. Edit. Many thanks for the awards. I hope that the topic of orgas m during our pay can be destigmatized and help the people who experience it to feel less confused and ashamed. It is a normal bodily response in a traumatic experience and in no way equates to consent or enjoyment. I thought that condoms were the black sensor bars from TV and constantly racked my brain on the s logistics. Oh man. In third grade all my friend said was a condom made sure the girl didn't get pregnant or AIDS. In my mind a condom was like a police officer that watched and made sure you didn't go for too long. When you insert your penis. A constant stream of sperm will start coming out your dick and stop as soon you take it out. Yeah they never explained how ejaculation works. I don't know how I thought the dick somehow knew what was going on. Like a gas pump. I started masturbating at a very young age. 
but I had no idea what I was doing at all and I 100% believed I was the only person in the entire world who was doing it. I thought our pay meant to take someone's clothes with force. I came home one day and told my mom that I saw someone wearing a t-shirt that I liked. I wanted to our pay that guy. Her reaction told me I needed to go check a dictionary. I've said this before. But it bears repeating. In SX said I learned the mechanics of SX but not that there was any movement. So for a while. When I was a kid. I thought you just inserted tab A into slot B and waited. I was in the 4th grade and my buddy and I were discussing PRN, I know. He mentioned something like my favorite part is when you peel the skin back. I responded with a blank stare. It wasn't until years later I realized he must have been uncircumcised. I spent years thinking penises were supposed to shed skin like a snake. Women can get pregnant by swallowing. I used to think nuts in the butt was a way of impregnating. IDK where I got the idea but I thought that a man's nipples touching a girl's nipples was SX. Still better than thinking you have to put your nipples in the other person's ass. You have to correct that behavior quickly before it becomes a habit. Definitely something you want to nip in the butt early. I thought my dick would rest on the opening of the vagina. And something magical would make SX happen. I kept using various things I could arrange to look like a vagina to simulate SX but nothing ever happened and I couldn't figure out why. Man I was a stupid kid. Edit. Highest rated comment about my juvenile masturbation trials. It took me an embarrassingly long time to realize men have dicks. Didn't pay attention in SX ed. I thought everyone had vaginas and when you rub them together. You can make a kid. IDK. Someone I know told me during kindergarten that he saw a girl use the bathroom and he was like. You pee from your butt? An 8 year old told an even younger me that women are so horny that if they don't have SX they will bleed from their poo -eye. A weird way to describe periods. I was told the dick goes in the girl so I thought penis into belly button. First guy I dated told me that leaving a guy with blue balls would cause permanent damage. Giving me no choice but to help him finish. Imagine my surprise when another man came along and actually accepted my no. I learned about SX primarily through the internet. I honestly didn't think about it too much and didn't fully grasp what it was. Just that people did it together. I remember the first time my mom gave me the talk. For some reason she put heavy emphasis on if a guy tells you he can hold it in. He's lying to your damn face she was talking about dudes telling girls they can hold their cum in. My tiny mind didn't fully register it at the time but now that I'm older I'm convinced some guy tried using that crap on her lol. Kid me just thought SX meant two people tickle the other person's privates and wait for the fishies to come out. Yes. I called sperm fishies. Comma if a guy tells you he can hold it in. He's lying to your damn face. Have you ever suspected that's how you were conceived? Girls got pregnant when boys kiss them. When I was little. I asked my mother how a woman got pregnant. She cowardly replied. I don't know. So. I use logic. What do married people do that unmarried people don't? Well. Obviously. According to the family safe movies back then. Kissing. So. The longer you last the better. Seriously. There is a such thing as going too long. I thought women just. Had children spontaneously. When I heard single mothers. I thought the woman hadn't found a husband yet when her baby maker made one. Which I guess is still true in a sense. This might have been a result as well of me watching phantom memes as a kid and having Shmi just drop the whole there was no father line. Edit. Well me. As a boy. I thought peeing in her vagina was how you impregnated a woman. I had no idea anything else came out of there. I remember my friends and I had a discussion about this at recess. I thought oral SX was phone SX because you were speaking. That you are doing it with someone you love. In my 9 year old mind that meant family. Boy was that embarrassing. 
that all adult men besides my family were basically pedophiles just waiting to pay me and my siblings. This actually did a lot of damage to me and made me very paranoid and protective of my siblings. I, 5 yoish, remember telling my parents my brother 12 yoish, was gay. At the time I for some reason thought it meant you had two girlfriends and I had heard him talk about two girls and just assumed he was dating them both. I got in trouble for it and didn't learn until a later age what it meant. Coincidentally. 7 stroke 8 years down the line my brother came out as gay so I dk but I like to think I'm psychic haha. A kid in elementary school called someone else a homozool. Then said it meant they had sx at home. I was confused by this for a while. I didn't think that a penis could physically fit in a vagina. They looked so big when I saw the diagram of an erect one in SX ed. I figured I'd never have SX and only make it a lot. Edit. Ro. Thanks so much for awards and upvotes. When a mummy and a daddy love each other very much. So you're telling me that you don't have to be married or even love a person to go down to the bone zone? Ro. The more you know. In around third grade. I learned that SX was when a man sucks on a woman's vagina, which I thought was called a penis at the time, until a little red ball comes out. And then they both suck on it. I'm still very confused about how that information came to be. Edit. I was told this by my friend Luke who. I like. Heard it from a neighbor girl named Nikki. Who learned it from her older sister. Around this time. Luke and I were both calling Nikki our girlfriend. And when we tried to settle this issue with Nikki she dumped both of us. Him for being too cocky. And me for doing too many Steve Urkel impressions. I remember thinking of course I do. They're really funny. That everyone is doing it. Do you know how many virgins are in college? I didn't learn this. I just completely assumed that the baby grows in your actual stomach. Like where your food is digested. And that it comes out through your back, where and how. I have no idea. Mom's only comments to me about SX was. You're not going to like it. Boy. Was she ever wrong. I thought a girl got pregnant if she slept with a guy. As in slept slept. In the same bed. That the first time was always painful and never enjoyable for the girl. The thought of it hurting actually scared me off of SX until I was almost 19. I was surprised to find out it didn't actually hurt and it was quite enjoyable. 2. Maybe it helped that I slept with an experienced SX partner. So he didn't just ram it in. You have to shove your balls in the vagina and get them stuck. I thought you just put your penis in the vagina and then something awesome magical happens. I had no idea about the whole assign and out work involved. I wasn't that young. But the first girl I started doing stuff with in high school made me wear a condom while giving me a hand job. She made it out to be like it was the normal thing to do and I guess it made sense because it meant cum didn't go flying everywhere. However. It made things really awkward with the next girl I was with and I pulled out a condom when she was playing with me. She was like. Whoa. I'm not ready to have sx with you yet. I then explained that I wasn't trying to mean that and I just thought it was normal to put a condom on for a hand job. She informed me that it was not and it was a bit weird. Totally killed the mood and she left right after the movie we were watching ended. You'll get a girl pregnant by peeing in her butt. I knew the rhythms and the instrumentals but I didn't quite know the lyrics. Also. That you'd only get a girl pregnant if you were married to her. If you feel embarrassed by that. Allow me to ease your suffering. A couple once got an honorary mention at the Darwin Awards because they had been trying to have a baby for over a year and nothing was working. They tried all the fertility enhancing herbs and vitamins. Both got tested to make sure neither was infertile. Whole nine yards. Eventually. One of the doctors they went to ask them about how they went about it. Apparently they had been trying to get pregnant via an LSX. For over a year. This is excruciatingly embarrassing but will get lost in the comments so whatever. 
in like third grade I watched an SNL skit about SX positions and saw the wheelbarrow was one of them. Later. In pay. We had to do wheelbarrows and I was paired with this really annoying boy that nobody liked. I started panicking and crying because I thought I was going to be having SX with him. I thought they stayed attached for 9 months. My mum told me that I'd only have an orgasm with someone I loved. I soon discovered the water jet in our spa. Which was the beginning of a beautiful relationship. I still think of bubbles from time to time. When I was in first or second grade I was walking home with a friend. He says. Hey I know how babies are made. I asked how and he said the man sticks his willy in a woman where she goes pee and then he goes pee. My scientific question to him was how do they know when the baby is made? He didn't have all the answers apparently. I grew up in a very religious house. I asked my mother how babies were made once. She replied by telling me that it's a very tight hug between a man and a woman. Every time a male family member hugged me. I remember doing the award sideways hug with my shoulder because at 6 I was petrified of becoming pregnant. Stuck with me until the talk at 13. I thought an LSX was two people rubbing their butt cheeks together. 8th grade SX ed class the teacher told us a story about finding a pornography magazine in someone's home that turned out to be a child SX offender. He went on to explain that if you look at PRN it will lead to S sorely abusing people. I look back on this with utter disbelief that we were being taught this. So I was nervous to look at PRN but had found a magazine in the alley. Tore out a page and hid it in the bathroom. Well my mom found it while cleaning and my dad had a talk with me. He explained it was a natural thing and was okay I wanted to look. Then he added just don't let your mother find it. Thanks pops. That girls doesn't like it. They only do it as a favor to you and you have to be grateful. Thanks mom. It says a lot about your marriage. For many years of my youth. I was under the impression that Venus ran horizontally. Rather than vertically. This isn't really answering the question correctly but when I was little I saw adults picking up kittens. Flipping them over. And then state their SX. So I figured. Obviously. If the kitty had pink paws. They were girl kitties and black paws meant boy kitties. Kind of related. I used to think pubic hair was pronounced pubic hair. Lol. I thought girls wore the condom until high school. I know there are female condoms from middle school sx ed. But honestly have no clue how they work. Same with a contraceptive sponge. What even is that? As a little one. I knew that a man's bits fit in a woman's hole. But I also thought that each person has one perfect fit. Like a puzzle piece. You just had to find the other person whose shape fit yours. I told my husband about this. And he started calling me his little dodecahedron. When I was just hitting puberty. I looked at a lot of hentai online. I eventually realized that the women weren't realistic and I was never going to look like that. I knew dicks got hard. But I never realized they pointed upwards. Condoms have a 2% failure in effective rate. Don't get me wrong. It is explicitly stated that they're 98% effective but no one thinks about that other 2%. I was a father at 14 because a 2% chance is still a chance. Edit. I didn't see all the comments when I responded to the other questions so I will put my answers here in edits. She was 16. I was 14. I never once asked her if she was using anything because. Well. SX. Plus I was using condoms. Ended up with twins and yes they were mine. Daughters are 18 this year. We married and divorced with no further kids but each had other kids after split. 15% failure rate makes me feel a little bit better about it I suppose but my whole point was that, back then at least, the failure rate is severely overshadowed by the success rate. I was pondering anatomy on the school playground when I was 7 or 8. And had the thought of, what if? What if a boy's outy bits and a girl's any bits came together? I tracked down my cousin, who was a year and a half older and knew everything, 
and he confidently told me that it had happened once. In England. And the couple ended up in the hospital to be separated. So I spent couple of years of my childhood believing that SX was just something that had happened once. In England. Not me. But one of my co-workers 100% believed that you could not impregnate the woman unless you were fully thrusted inside so ye. I thought the place where you put it was higher because that's where all the hair was in the few pictures I'd seen. It was a very hairy time in society. My cousin told me my mom swallowed a watermelon seed and now had a watermelon growing inside of her stomach. After that. I was too scared to eat watermelon because I didn't want to have a baby. I haven't eaten watermelon since. When I was young my friend convinced me you couldn't get a girl pregnant in a pool because the chlorine would kill the sperm. I tried to convince my first girlfriend of this so we could have sex without a condom. She just laughed at me. That it was going to always be some romantic festivity but ended up being a lot darker than that in most cases. I really hope you mean the level of light. So you're telling me holding hands does not get a girl pregnant? I must say. A friend of mine in HS who wasn't the brightest bulb ended up getting his GF pregnant because they both had apparently misremembered what they had learned in health class. Thinking that the best time to not get pregnant was in between periods. So they didn't use a condom then. Whoops. That SX relationships were between a guy and a girl. I literally didn't know gay people existed until I was in 8th grade and one friend had two moms. The only thing I can remember my dad teaching me about SX is that if you have SX with someone and then you can't be with that person anymore. It's like you're missing a limb. Like somebody cut off your arm. I mean be my guest on whether or not he's wrong. Thanks to my grandma. You can get an STD by self-pleasure. To have it as soon as possible. I used to think that kissing on the lips was SX. I was 8 or 9 when I kissed a girl on the lips. Turns out you don't have to pee in a girl's mouth to make a baby. That it's not okay to do wait for marriage. My upbringing was very abstinence focused. I started dating my wife when we were 16 took it slow and by 18 we were just ready for the next step. We learned each other's likes dislikes and became closer. Married my senior year of college and now have our amazing son. As a teenager and young adult, not that long ago. Like 20 years. I really thought waiting until marriage was the thing to do. Nowadays one of my guilty pleasures is reading a SX advice column and it's amazing terrifying to imagine some of the problems that could have cropped up if I had stuck with that plan. After seeing a video at my uncle's house I believed it always involved three men and one woman. Girls get pregnant if you touch their boobs. Because the book I got given had a cutaway of the man between the legs of the woman. So the near side let of the woman wasn't there. I thought the man's legs were gripping the one woman's leg and he thrust at that somehow. That you will get STDs. LOL SX isn't real good try FBI. Doing it while standing up prevents babies. They debunked that in 6th grade. Still get nightmares from those classes. Ro. I wasn't expecting all these upvotes thanks. Edit. When I was 8 my 12 year old neighbor told me a woman can only get pregnant during her period. That's like. One of the few times a woman is least likely to get pregnant. After SX said in elementary school. I was confused about wet dreams so I asked my friend. She told me that when boys sleep. Their penises shed skin like a snake. I believed this until I was well into my teenage years. I thought you just got naked and moved around under the sheets. Technically correct. But missing details. That if you say no or it hurts no one listens. Asian girls virginis are slanted. I thought that girls had a penis inside of them that they would pull out to pee. And that's why I found gay sx confusing. Like why have sx with a guy when you could just get some dick from a girl? I also thought that babies appeared organically. I wasn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. 
I never got the talk. I figured it out from friends and YouTube. I thought the time it takes for sperm to reach the egg was the amount of time you need to have sex to have a baby. Which is many hours. I thought man. You really must want that baby. Full stop.